Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and today we've got Darcy! It's Hooray! me! Darcy with coffee. Hooray! And cats. And we're going to be playing some Atari 7800 games today. And let's see what they are. Where's my phone? Here it is. We have three Atari 7800 games today. Uh, they are Night Guy in Another Castle. VHZC Returns. Nice. Uh, Go Sub by Chris Reed and Stone Age by Anthony Quinlan, 2600. I want to know how the secret to keep your colors so bright on your 7800 shirt. I wash it inside out and I wash it on cold. That's all I do. Not much of a secret, but... Eh. There you go. Um, yeah, always turn your t-shirts inside out that have print on them. That you like. That you like. If you hate them, keep them on the outside if you want just a plain <laughs> shirt after a while. Because then the other shirts aren't banging against it and rubbing. Uh, the only rubbing is between its own shirt. Uh, inside out isn't an option. Well, you could turn then it. Then do the laundry. <laughs> do or turn them inside out when you check it into the laundry basket. Yeah, if you get somebody else to do it, I doubt they would go through your t-shirts and turn them back around for you. Mm. They might turn them inside out back when they're folding them. If, if you do a, if you get a service, I If guess. you turn it inside out, then either you can get it inside out back and you can turn it outside <laughs> in. Yeah. That, is that a thing? No. An outside in? You, to make it outside <laughs> out. There we go. Outside okay. no. out. There you <laughs> go. Um, or one way or the other, she has to turn it inside out. Might as well be, might as well be after it's clean. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Hey, James. I Darcy mean, you Italian have to spot. pay the price, but it's still an option. It's just maybe a, yeah. a, a heavy, a very heavily dutied option. Yes. And omit the bleach. Yeah. Don't bleach your bleach white things. Don't bleach this. Oh, is this? Mess on it. Oh, I blame, mess on I blame it. the apple that Darcy gave me. <laughs> or the cat. Right, Russ. Do it yourself. Do, Do it laundry laundry yourself. yourself. That's what I was Problem say. solved. <laughs> um, so I want to thank all the <laughs> subscribers. Scrolling uh, gently up the screen beside Darcy there. Cobra Box, Alan Defer, Andrea Atari, Atari 800, XL, World Atari, Ned Savador, 4, Atari Age, Beef Supreme, BR Poke Up, Buffalo Pinball, Chest on Mouth, Charles Willen, Chitlala, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Sierra Reboot, Jan, VC, Doctor Move, Cows, Gamma Dev, Glame Men, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Jedekai, Johnny WC, Carl G. Crocker, 2600, Developer, Lambda Express, Lord Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Saul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zonor, Wood, Mr. Fist, Money, Fudster, Neo Media, Nostalgic, Pack Rack, Koa, Garcia, 70, Render Ghost Apprentice, VG, Revan Tooley, Ricardo Pims, Rodcaster, Six Weeds, Maybe be Spice for Spindly, S. Ramirez, Destin Rock, and T uh, D Train, Tiki Dan K, uh, Trek MD, Vexorax, Vintage Gaming Memories, Vitoko 8 Bits, VVG Double Down, and X Ken X. No, Darcy. Sad. And... Oh, it's because my phone. <laughs> oh, the phone is giving trouble. I That's still, right. Uh, no texts. I'll try it again. I'm going to try it right now. I'm going to try it. Hmm. Right now. Let's test it out. Uh, if you want to support the show, Not you can change. click subscribe. If you don't want to, perfectly fine. Um, so mail and news, uh, no mail, but uh, I've upgraded my retro tink to the newest firmware and wow, did they add a lot of options. Um, a lot of options that I'm able to clean up the picture quite a bit. It looks so much better now on the 7800, on the 2600, it's like night and day on the eight bit. It's great. Much more control over the colors now on it as well which is great. Um, so the 7800 should look pretty good. I've dialed it in. So it looks very much like, at least for the first game, very much like the screenshots that VHZC has posted. And I'm guessing those are this, the colors that he wants because he's posting those uh, photos from an emulator. So I've tried to emulate those colors on there. I do really need to get a nice, um, or run some, programs that put color bars on the screen and really dial it in properly because that would help a lot. Um, also my 800 XL PAL system. Um, I was having difficulties with the picture. It was changing colors and stuff. I oh. figured out that was the SCART screen connector. Save. Oh, wasn't the screen? Save no, it was a that. separate one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, it was the SCART connector is going in and out, but I also before that I thought it was the power. And so I ordered a, a bigger power supply and I recently tested out the power with, I finally got to use my new power tester. 
um, USB power tester, so you can measure how many uh, volt, how much voltage, how much amps, and obviously how much watts based on that. So I did some testing on it. And um, what does USB have to do with your Atari? Ah, uh, good question. I pa I have a power supply mm -hmm. that it powers through USB because the Atari oh. uses five volts. Oh. So it's like, hey, you use five volts. Gotcha. USB is five volts. Works awesome. Um, where are my notes? Oh my god. Okay. Don't have my notes up. My notes disappeared. Oh, I unpinned them. I'm gonna have to search. What's today's date? Twenty twenty three. Eleven ten. What in the hell? Just being a pain in the ass. Okay, but I memorized it anyway, this part of it. Let me crash that out. What is happening? Let me just make sure. Can't edit in trash. Oh, how did I delete it? Not restored. Note restored. There we go. Oh my god, how did I delete it accidentally? I blame the cats. So I measured the power rating now that I have that all fixed up. And it was jumping between about 1.4 amps and 1.9 amps. And currently I have it, currently, huh? I have it plugged into a 2.1 amp USB um, power adapter. So it has enough, but just enough, because it's peaking at about 1.9, and that's 2.1. Turn that down noise I'm trying i just i just um so and the one that comes with the the original 800 xl power supply mm -hmm. is 1.5 so oh. the, the way i have it currently because i have a vbxe video card upgrade a one oh okay a, one umb um memory upgrade i doubt that uses more memory uh more power but it could I have a, a sub average cart. That's the name of it. Not that it's bad. Okay. <laughs> it's actually very good. It first came out with an average cart and it was good. Then they came out with a sub average cart and it was way better. And I also have the um, Fuji net as well plugged in. So all these things are adding more and more power. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I have a four amp power supply coming. Um, uh, it should be here. I actually have the power supply here, and Pseudographics has sent me uh, over the adapter that adapts the power supply. It to is the good pin. that you're getting a power supply that doesn't that's rated. If it, they're rating them properly, then I hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be able to test it. Yeah, that's, that, it's good yeah. that you're having extra power. Yeah, because more power is good. More, and it only takes the power it needs. It's not like here I have all this power. Needs. No, it just only draws. Yeah, yay, it's me. <laughs> was that you? That was... Who said Rar? I believe that... Uh, uh, I don't know. One of us said Rar. One of us said Rar. Anyway, that's... Uh, upgrade is coming soon. So right now I'm like on the edge of the power I need. 7800 Utility has a nice color screen on it. Oh, excellent. So I'll have to try that out. Um, Now we just need to get everyone on the list to watch at the same time. That'd be awesome. Um, Everybody has different... <coughs> dying and I have no water. Everybody has different um, likes. Well, they have, they have <laughs> different likes. <laughs> um, so not everybody watches every show. <laughs> Seven eight hundred and uh, twenty six hundred. <laughs> Do you get me some water, Darcy? Yes, please. I'm dying. I have to share my thing first. It's no. the most important thing. Yay, Drexel, subscribe! <laughs> no, Thank you, Drexel. Is, is, is a little Twenty eight months. <laughs> Luckily, we have. Um, a video to show <laughs> so I can <laughs> get my voice restored. Ivy Tower Collection says, surprised it takes so much current to operate. A bench tested uh, 5200 UAVs and flashcards and doesn't even break 800 MA. Oh. Yeah, I guess those add ons um, uh, really pump it, like the VBXE, which is doing a lot of processing um, to manipulate the. Uh, video to RGB is taking up, and a lot of the carts are taking up the sub-average cart. Yeah, milliamps. Yes. Um, okay, we. Uh, I was sent over a trailer from Leandro Camera for the Zark Stars Four uh, game, which has been released. But he just put together a trailer. Thank you so much. 
Cat, oh, cat squishy cat. cat. Squish, squish. Um, yeah. For us to show. Um, there are, you said, is a, <laughs> a couple of copies left. So let's see if I've got this going properly. Is this the one? No, this is the one. Let's see if this works properly. Just added in the VLC. Oh, why is that a white screen? Why is it only showing white? That's not good. Let me restart the video. Oh, it isn't showing. Let me just try something. No. Blank. Uh-oh. What, what? Is that like an anti-screen capture <laughs> something? Uh, like... uh, yeah, it could be. Um... Hmm. And no audio as well. I'm going to have to uh, maybe play it another time. Because no video is not good. But is there uh It's usually has something. It it's usually has something. No, this no? is through VLC. And usually oh, when listen. that's a problem, it has something to do with the hardware acceleration. Um, because it's displaying it differently. I don't know the ins and outs of it, but... But uh, normally you play something in VLC and it's yay, it's all good. Yes. Ooh, here we go. I'm going to try one thing. Try more than one thing. This is the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see something. Oh, I see it too. Okay. Is, it, is, there some, is it that there's something in the way of the screen? Yes. You know what? Because there's something weird. There's a weird black box. I know. That's what I was wondering. That might have oh. been the problem before. Uh, could have been. Because see the lines at the top? No. I What's got that it. all about? I got it now. I got it now. Okay. It wasn't Doesn't the Doesn't mean that I have audio. No, what you it. did, well, I think what you did fixed it because the thing I was pointing at didn't change. It, it was, was very there. different. Yeah. Um, let, they can still hear us, so that's good. We're not uh, off. Okay, so let me try and get the audio now. There should be audio as well. Please stand by as we attempt to get the audio because there should be some audio as well. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to have to do something a little different here. Not that bad, but I will get it going. There we <clears> go. <throat> Monitor and output. Desktop audio. Unmuted. Rewind. And this should work now. I, I turned our audio off, but there's there's just music, so that's fine. 
Um, I said yeah, the first all, part I was, said all sorts of very, it was very intelligent ins- insightful and insightful things. Definitely. I, I don't know. He forgets what watch he's the, Watch the YouTube version to find out. Uh, you can't hear him on the YouTube version. What? But so the those first, words I said are lost forever? Uh, no. If people can lip read, they can get oh. them back. <laughs> first part was like, we have played this on the show. Um, uh, there was Very cool. Yeah, the first part's like Pong. So you have to keep bouncing those things but up like, and shoot, their, shoot yeah. the things. The, pong, the, the ships that are bouncing don't destroy the things at the top. Yeah. You have to shoot those, but you also have to keep track of them. You got to keep the thing. You got to keep bouncing the things so they don't fall off the screen or whatever. Yeah. yeah. In this one, uh, you have to go through the gates, and they have a certain pattern. And I really, really enjoyed this. Um, yeah, this this, this, this is Dark is Stars. Cool. Yeah. This is, uh, this is a, to me, unique uh, gate. And they look great. And the very good use of triplication. Um, on the 2600, because you can triple anything you can put on the screen automatically just by flipping the switch. Uh-oh. Oh, that's the wrong move. Slice, slice. Uh, so the blue thing at the bottom, you just gotta touch it? Uh, that's for health, yeah. You get extra health. Oh, uh, thought you did. Yeah, no, you did, because it was real low. Oh, okay. After being lasered. Sometimes the health is tracking along and alongside the thing. Oh no, extra... I can't remember what those are. It seemed like the health went up too, but I, I don't know. One of them's health. And there's the packaging. So, e- well, I'll wait till this is over to talk. It looks real great. It looks really good. The packaging looks amazing. Yep. Oh, yeah. Dark Star's packaging. Not that. I'm sure they've won in the past for packaging one of the years. Oh, there's the intro again. Where you're, it's like Pong. Here's a summary. <laughs> they didn't show the boss. I swear there's a boss at the end too that you have to fight. Maybe not. Maybe I'm mistaken. I know there's bosses on the. There's, there's the boss. The Very cool looking Very boss bossy. too. Very bossy. Very bossy. Oh, got tagged. Rah, 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 rah. There's where you can get it, zarkstars.com. I'm probably done. Done. Oh, no, a little bit more. This is like after the credits. That's right. Stuff. Ah, okay, some patterns. Maybe, uh... Oh, I think that's the name, um, the subtitle of it, Zark Stars for Nebula. Because there's it's fourth in the series, so it's always Zark Stars one something, Zark Stars two something. So you have to blast through the top to let out your your ships to be able to go fight another day. Whoa, there they go. I like that they can uh, fit through. Oh, like separate? Yeah. separate? Yeah. yeah. That is very <clears throat> clever. Um, so that uh, it was released a little while ago, but he just made the trailer. So he, uh, he said if I wanted to show it. Uh, there we go. So that'll be uploaded to YouTube soon. Um, and they have a new game coming out as well. Um, and this is the graphic for the new game, Escape from Mars which I have not played. Uh, I'm sure we'll get a preview copy to play in the show soon. Uh, and there's some screenshots of it. Very great cover. They always do great packaging, Leandro, Leandro's games. And it says, should be coming next month, so December. There you go. Um, so I think that is all the news. Time to get on to the first game, yeah. which is from VHZC, who always makes awesome games. And they're usually shooters and platformers, which, man, after my own heart. Uh, this one was first posted uh, November 8th, uh, 2023. Did I, did I show the graphic? Let's make sure I did. Um, 
Uh, first posted November 8th, 2023. And this build is from yesterday, November 9th. It's 144K game. Um, and it is the fourth Night Guy game. Night Guy in Another Castle. And it's always, he always does nice puns in, in the title. Um, because it's a play off of, I'm sure, Mario Brothers, where it's like your princess is in another castle, but this is Night Guy in a sequel, and he's in another castle. Very funny stuff. Um, the first, uh, this is the fourth. There's been Night Guy in Low Res World, Castle Days, mm -hmm. Night Guy on Board, 30 Squares of Fate, which is a board game that didn't uh. get finished up, which sadly probably will never get finished up because he recently lost everything in a flood uh. at his house. And he didn't have backup, unfortunately. So all his old games that didn't get finished are pretty much gone unless he wants to start from scratch and recreate them. Because he has none of his code. He has yeah, yeah. only the binaries that he's uploaded. Um, Night Guy Quest for Something, and now the fourth one, Night Guy in Another Castle. Thank you, Mario, but Night Guy is in Another Castle. There you go. Um, so let's start it up. And I'll read out what it's all about. So let's get to the game. Let's switch over. There we go. Mm -hmm. Ready. Night guy in another castle. So you press it's a the button. Prrr, a nice, nice uh, title screen there. Demo point one. Go for it. Other one. I pressed the other one first. Did you? Yep. Mm. The game disagrees. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? <laughs> it did not believe me. But... <laughs> What is the basis for your doubt? Because <laughs> the game didn't think you pressed it. So mm -hmm. that's, I believe the game. <laughs> do you believe what me, you Atari? I don't know. What did you say? Can you say that? In meows? <laughs> I don't understand the human language. Oh, oh. right into the bat. And you, see, you have to have bats in castles. If you have a castle, you have to have bats. That is the requirement. So VH said he posted on Wednesday, new game in development, a sequel of Night Guy Castle Days. Started to work on it a week ago, so it is in a really early stage of development, but playable demo is available. I still don't have a flash cart, so I only tested this ROM on the A7800 emulator. Uh, testing on actual hardware would be greatly appreciated. Well, here we are. Testing on actual hardware. I know Trevor uh, also was doing some testing of the game. Oh, he didn't fall for the trap. Clever. Oh, fell for the bat, though. Um, but Trevor did find a bug um, yesterday. Can I just die and start over? <laughs> you can, but you have a lot of lives in this game. No, I fell down the hole, so now I have oh. to go back this. <laughs> you might as well. You can just walk it. Well, you have to die five times, but uh, that won't take too long. Ha ha. Well, if you wanted to die, I mean. Um, it's just that getting through those levels felt like I had accomplished a lot. Carl G says, why else have a castle after all? Yeah, if you have a castle, why wouldn't you have some bats and some cats and other things that rhyme with at? Okay, some mats, probably rats. Usually in these games, there's rats too. <gasps> the sword is in the stone. You have I have a sword. The sword. I'm like totally a night guy now. Before it was just words and now it's real. Da, da, da. Now I'm going to kill a snake. I love in his game. I'm coming for you, Snake. You're oh, can I kill a... I don't know. I don't think so. But you can try. Oh, you can. Nice. <laughs> They're just doing their own thing, and you're going around killing the bats. Oh, are they just doing their own thing? How they... many times did they kill me? No, they're not just doing their own thing. They murdered my no. previous misses. You are the one bothering them. No. In this, this is in not. This they're this not going not after a... you. He's not going this after you. This is not a wild <laughs> bat cave. This is a castle. Oh, you're cleaning up. You were you were called in as the exterminator. Is that the the premise? We don't know what the premise is. Are those gonna fall on my head? Uh. No, they just keep you from jumping the snake. Yes. 
Yeah, don't touch the spikies. They are... Oh, it's gold. Oh, he's back. You can kill him infinite times. Okay, points. Oh, do you get points? Go. Oh, there's no points. Yeah. No. It's a countdown. Oh, no. You get negative points because we spent time, time counting down. And there's a spike at the top of that, by the way. Too. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I didn't know, but I suspected that it was not going to be a friendly elevator. <laughs> it's, a, it's an unfriendly elevator. So, I don't... Can you get down from there? It seems like uh, you can't. That's its lowest point. I feel like you're trying point. to get there, yeah. Ivory Tower Collection says, yeah, first evidence of anti-CB level design here. I saw you post that in the forums, and I didn't know what CB meant. Choosing beggar? Uh, combat? Battle? Uh, castle? Bomb? <laughs> I don't know what CB is. I'm trying to figure that... I was trying to figure that out, because you, you posted that somewhere. Was it in the... Discord? Please tell me what CB is. What do you think CB stands for? Crossbow. Anti-crossbow. Level design. And what is pro-crossbow level design? Or what is crossbow doing that... Uh, that, uh, that, that it's been prevented this time? Okay. Official term for traps that VH says he puts in place to counter shortcuts I found in his level. Okay. I see, I see. Ah! Ah, your leg like, got caught on the spikes. So, um, there's a, there was a ladder in the I'm game. not sure what I pressing that button was for. Oh, because this was bottom. down. Yeah. So now it's still there and dangerous, but uh, allows you to get through. Um, there was a, a ladder that we haven't seen yet. <laughs> oh, one life left. Uh oh. That was was um, giving glitches, but no, no, I died. I, the, the guy flattened. That's the appropriate picture. Yeah, it is. How did does? Oh, hmm? No, I doubt see. it. I doubt it. <laughs> that would be cool though if there was like you died by snake and there was a snake picture. Oh, ITC has not been able to beat the demo yet. That that um. Thing you died on. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Uh, looks like it's very difficult to get through. Like, there's not much time to get through that. Yeah, the rest of this did not feel like uh, it was abusive. But that was abusive. Yeah, his his games are usually fun and not super, super... Oh my god. I can't believe you fell for that. The lights are bright, so I didn't fell really... Fell for it? Get it? Uh, intentional? Or unintentional pun. He'll never say. <laughs> Unintentional. Unintentional? I thought Intentional so. puns, uh, I'm not. Much worse. I, I don't. I. It's. It would be disingenuous for me to say that I ever do intentional puns. And therefore, commenting on what I think about intentional puns is probably uh, BS. <laughs> Uh, can you close if down I, that? If I was able window. to do intentional puns, I would have a different feeling about it. Oh, okay. You're just ple pleasantly surprised when you get an unintentional pun, then. Uh, if, uh, <laughs> did I mention that VH had see the author of the game is Chilean? You did not, but he did. And I'm going to press that with my sword. It's okay, so, so fast. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. That I discovered after finding you could get through the... It's going to be very tight to get through that. Yeah. What did you discover? What I discovered was this. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> so you can get down through here. What? Through here? Yeah. You just have to jump and then immediately fall off. Ah! Uh, you wasted my lives. Oh well, my god. That's the way I got through. I don't know if you can, but I was able to do it. I was able to do it. Uh, I'm not sure what your problem is. But you can go back here is my point. Yeah. Now I have three but lives. I got through the other way. Like falling off the yep. left hand? Oh my god. Because at that oh. point, I didn't realize that there was another way. This is where Darcy died. You'll get through the first time. 
Oh, so close. <laughs> or not. <laughs> oh, there you go. That is very tight. Usually his games are not... Okay, we're doing it again. I died by fire, and uh, he looks died like he's splattered. Fire. Death by fire. Death by fire. Usually I can get through the whole game in, like, one go, especially on his early betas. But I did not. This one's a little bit tougher. A little bit um, lower tolerances for... Okay, I didn't fall for that again. Huh. Unintentional again. And the great thing about VHC games is speedrunners, it has automatic built-in timer in the uh, form of the uh, counter, countdown. Don't even need a clock. It is fun that your sword is out when you're moving forward, but not when you're not. <laughs> So, like, when you jump, is your sword out? Uh, yeah, it is. When actually. you're moving, but when you aren't moving... Oh, no, it's not. not. So you can't stab something above you. Yeah. You're, you're just in trouble there. You can always stab something in front of you when you're moving. See if I can make it through the first time on that. That is, that is very tight timing. Maybe it's a new era for VHZC is making his games harder. He's mad because he lost all of his code. He's like, ah, I'm going to make them hard now. It's going to make them hard so it takes you longer to play them because it's going to take him longer to get the other games out. That's right. And I died on those spikes there, too. Because the jump is very horizontal. Like, you move quite a bit. So you don't expect... You it's made it! Very, very tight. And you didn't die by fire. Yay! I'm learning. No! You did that time die in a fire. Oh my god. Oh no, my god. I gotta jump, jump on the rock. Yeah, there you go. It's just not enough time. It's a trap. Okay. Uh -oh. There's a box. There's a boomerang, boomerang skeleton. Can you throw the box up? And the boomerang I can hits it? Push the box so I can jump up. Yeah. Um, I'll do that next. Oh, what? Oh, I'm not strong enough. I have to get the potion. Some of his games, you have to get potions to get strong. Oh my god. Oh my god, it comes for you too. Oh my god. Can you stab it? Uh, that looks... Oh, it goes the opposite way. Doesn't look like you can. Looks like it's a... Oh my god. A jump. A jump thing. More bats. You can kill those bats. Oh yeah, that's right. You can. And they deserve it. They've got it coming. They don't. They got it coming. They've got it coming. <laughs> Oh god, it's boss time. But you're not ready for the boss. I bet you can't get him when he's in that form. Oh my god. You can get him. Oh yeah, you can get him then. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No! Oh. Turn, turn. Step, 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 step. Step, 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 step. <laughs> <laughs> this is a stand up comedian from Victoria. Oh my god. And one of his bits is that uh, he's, he's got to get. Because we've only seen him when he's not in Victoria, and he's looking forward to get back to Victoria so he can get back to stabbing. <laughs> is the, is the, there stabbing going on in Victoria? I guess, but like the, his main thing is that, um, like, the, you know, the property values are too high, so he's got to get in there and get stabbing so that <laughs> people, people move out of the city that's and they right. can a house. There you go. Okay, that's the joke. <laughs> There's probably more context in the... Uh, uh, Anyways, that oh. was relevant because he was step, step, step. Never mind. I do think the collision detection on this one might need some tweaks. Yeah, it's a bit, uh, a bit touchy. Work in progress. Uh, why did you enable that? It was disabled. What's disabled? What's enabled? What? What? <laughs> what did I did disable? Or di oh, this is the potion. Power glove. Nice. Can't get up there yet. What? Maybe you can if you got power. Something. I can't jump high enough. No. Can't jump high enough. Oh boy, this is backwards. Things are much different. 
Oh, no! Oh, your butt doesn't have a sword on it. You touched it with it your butt. Not. And it's not one of those... Oh, that's what I'm going to do. ...butt touchers that <laughs> we were talking about earlier. <laughs> that's right. Not one of the butt touchers. That's okay, right. that only goes Stab to... It. Oh, I don't think this is a stabbing thing. <laughs> that looks either, like a... I'd rather it, you test it than me. <laughs> <laughs> True. Hi, buddy! How you doing? Are you a butt toucher? I'm I think a butt I have, sniffer. I think I have a scab on my butt from when you were trying to stab my butt with your fingers. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go this way first. This... No, don't look at me like that. You did. You did. <laughs> Scratcher. <laughs> Oh, oh it's what? It's he gone. Died. It's he... gone. It's fine. He died, but I died too. Oh. There we go. That'll make it much easier. Push. Oh, oh no, it's a teleporter. Uh, to a different land. Let's land the on this thing. Bounce. Oh, to get back. No, no, I didn't do all the. You completed the demo. I didn't do all the rooms. Hi, buddy. Yeah, but you completed. I went to the end. I, I know right, what the end is. Now. Was there something that that is there a power up you didn't get? Well, there's a bunch or of. Or did you just find one in. of the ways to get to the end? I think I found one of the ways to get. How to did the end. you get to the end of the demo if you didn't do all the stuff that you need to do? Is my question. Well, he didn't put a door where you need a key and the key somewhere else that that makes you go through everything. Ah, <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> Uh, so, sword. I'm gonna play it again and go. It does a little. Not it does look that. a little bit like snored. <laughs> snored. Are you saying he needs to change his font? Nope. <laughs> snored. It's better to go above. You don't have to deal with a whole bunch of stuff. Let's try not to die as much, even though I made it all the way through. Ah. Fire. Can't stab the fire. Just makes your sword hot. Hey. The second time. Go down. Try not to die in these spikes. There we go. Oh boy. Go! Beneath them. Oh my god. Jump. Whoa. Push, push. Nope. Can't push yet. stab him when he stops and he's dizzy. I'm, I'm sure. Oh I think what it is is you can there. hit him twice. And then once you have hit him twice, because I think if you hit him once, yeah. he doesn't spin back into the thing as quick. Because hmm. the first time you did it, you hit him once, and then it seemed like it took him a while. Okay. It's faster when you do hit him right away. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh -oh. That's pathetic. Oh, See, he does it. that. Oh. He does that if you only hit him once. Or maybe that's not what happened. I, I don't really know. But we'll never know. It does make it go through a sequence faster if you start stabbing him immediately. Yep. There we go. The power glove. That looks like a room above that you cannot get into this point. Yeah, it's, right now anyway. Seems to be correct. No. <laughs> Let's not do that. We just come back anyway. Missed. Come back. Oh, selective bat murder. Uh, now who's now who's the high and mighty bat murderer? Stupid. 
I an anti-bat am. murderer. I, oh my god. No, it's not. It's not about that. It's not that? No. It's just me. I'm the one to blame. Just me down to that ledge. Okay. Uh, I went to the right. But did you time? go up? I did not go up at all. See, it's locked. Oh. It says no. Nay. Thank you for subscribing, Jedekiah02. Zero two. Two. Not the first, not the zeroth, not the nothingth. It's the second. The second. Second. <laughs> so there's there was nothing up here except a lock. I don't. I don't know if there's a key. This was the ladder that was buggy in the first release. You couldn't go down. It's when, a very nice ladder. It is a very it's nice ladder. Nice. So let's see if there is a key, and we just didn't find the key. So this is the teleporter. Yeah. Supposedly you could teleport back, right? Uh, but the teleporter... Oh, I see. And I don't want to go to the right, because that's the end of the demo. Ooh, Ooh, extra heart. This looks like a secret place you can go through eventually. Maybe not. Can I make it over there? That's a long jump. You can do it! Yeah. Woo! You got Woo! extra heart! Woo! Victories! Can I go through there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up the great channel. Thank you, Jedekiah, and thank you for watching. So I can go back, but I don't have a key. So yeah. there's no point in going back. I think this is the end? Right yeah, here? I think so. I think... Da, da, da. I won the game! It's cool that it used the emote from the message for the notification area instead of the channel emotes. Yeah, that is very cool. Okay. Uh, great start. Another yep. awesome platformer uh, from uh, VHZC. All the usual stuff is in there. I will just... I play his games forever. They're they're so awesome. So I'm mostly I'm glad that he's returned to making games um, after the disaster that he mm -hmm. had, which was very very sad. Um, so welcome back, VHZC, and he's back to his uh, awesome full form. Oh, I have six percent left on this phone. That is not going to bode well. So the next game we're going to play is Go Sub. Did you say 6%? Yeah. How does the phone ever reach 6% without gross negligence on someone's part? <laughs> it was gross negligence. <laughs> That's what happened. But I if my phone it. ever reached like anything close to that, I would be like, oh my God, I am a terrible phone uh, <laughs> But I'm husband. at home, so I don't feel it as bad. <laughs> I need to retake my course in phone husbandry. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Ready. Go sub. Mm -hmm. Looks nice and playable. Yes. I wondered if it was going to be that kind of sub. Go sub. It is <clears throat> that kind of sub. Um, so this is by uh, Chris Reed, Atari Twenty Six Hundred Land. First posted May Twenty Eighth, Two Thousand Nineteen. It is an older game. It's not a brand new one, but I haven't played it before. Um, and this is. This version is from May 6th, 2020. It's the one from um, that's posted in the Atari Age forums. But he did release a retail version of this game. You can see it right there. Go sub for the Atari 7800. So they did release a cartridge version with a manual and somebody did make a box for it as well. The box didn't originally come with this package. Um, and this was released on September 21st, 2020. In Go Sub 7800, you are a submarine uh, driver in search of sunken treasure. 50 years ago, yes, there was a Go Sub for 2600. We did play that one on the show. Uh, 50 years ago, Finn's treasure was scattered to the waves and lost to the sea. Your job is to get the treasure chests and be rich. Just be rich. Just be, be rich. rich. Just be rich. <laughs> Not get rich. Be rich. be rich. That's a different thing. Get rich. To be, be rich, rich, you got to get rich first, and then you got to stay it's rich. To state of being, yes. being, being rich. rich. Does that mean you have to dress richly and drive expensive Don't cars? No, that's a fair question. Is it, or is it just a state of mind? Or is it just the the number act of having on your wealth? bank account and, uh, definitely... and it's staying like that? <laughs> yes, <laughs> but there are... never dropping below rich. Yeah, I wonder what rich. I wonder what this 
50 years ago, back when Darcy was born. That was 51 years ago. <gasps> Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Darcy's a little bit more uh, wiser than me. Just a little <laughs> One bit. year wiser. <laughs> yep. Uh, but there are dangers. It seems the treasures are well protected because they are... There are kelp yum time, walls. Yum time, yum, yum, oh, yum. good timing. Oh my goodness. Let's plug in my phone <clears throat> while it's treat time. Oh yes, I love you too. Oh, we love the treats. There's no need to flirt. The noise happened. It's happening. Let's start up the betting. The be oh, the cats. The cats are going insane. As they should. Oh, let's switch it back to us. <clears throat> And let's start the betting. Who who do you think, Darcy? Who are you betting your imaginary points on? Well, my money is on Sprite, <laughs> but my heart is with oh. Atari. <laughs> but it would be reversed if Atari always won. <laughs> what is happening? These are both very, very delightful kittens, and I Excellent. wish them both victory. <laughs> victory for both. Both. I, I, I oh, like Thrust is doing back and forth. Uh, a timing test there. You have to let us know what the test result is for you, uh, for lag. Okay, the, the bets are on. Uh, place your bets now for the cats. Let's switch over to the cat cam treat time so we can see how the betting is going. Oh, two bets are in for Sprite. There are, there's money to be taken now if you bet on Atari. Remember, you, could, you only... Yeah, we go rid of the catnip for now because Atari has some asthma problems and we weren't sure if it was contributing to it because they roll around and breathe in the it's dust. It's kind of dusty. Yeah. yeah, and it makes a mess of the floor. We'll bring it back. We'll bring it back. Oh, don't worry, buddy. Don't worry. You'll, You'll get, get it. It's going to happen. You'll get I it. I know. Oh. You can't conceive of this betting crap, but oh. it's happening and you've got to wait. One person is on Atari. We've got to bet now. <laughs> Yay. Because <laughs> if everybody bets on one side, nothing will happen. <laughs> no, they what? can lose. Could they lose all their money yeah. and goes to no one? Yeah. Oh, funny. They could lose. So it's always good to bet like. Can the you minimum. bet on both sides? Uh, I believe you can. Has Still anybody you bet shouldn't on? Shouldn't be allowed. Otherwise, you could like. You bet a ton. On one on Sprite, One on. And one, one on Atari. On <laughs> but that only works if nobody else bets on Atari. And if somebody sees, oh, there's only one. Well, ten is the minimum. Then I they think. could bet five. And they would get five times the amount. They would get five that's, sixths. <laughs> that's right. Five sixths. Five sixths. <laughs> the game sounds like a bell. What game? <laughs> the game sounds? Oh, there's sounds in the background. Oh, the video game is still going on in the background. We can't hear it. Uh, I'm going to mute that oh. for now. Yeah. Remember, I. So think. later complain. Oh, loudly. you can only bet on one outcome. Good. Uh, that's better, I think. I mean, why not? In real life, you can bet as many times as you want on anything, on normal betting things. I guess it's the submarine going ding, 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 ding. That'd be confusing. Uh, oh, submissions are closed. We are ready. Are you ready, cats? Oh, can you shut the door very syrup to, um, secretly? There you go. Secretly? I didn't do that secretly. Well, they didn't run out, so secret enough. Okay, cats, are you ready? Okay, you get over here. Get over here. Okay. Ready? Go. Oh, Atari's twice. He is eager. And Sprite got one too. Oh, Sprite's sticking by his bell. Which his, is, oh, oh, he's good. He which is knocks great. it out of the air. He has caught it in his mouth once. It's amazing. Come on, Atari. Oh my god, three for Sprite. Hit it. Hit there you go. One for Atari. Sprite is off to the races. It's 4-2. And Atari's catching up. He's catching up. Needs to go a little faster. A little bit faster. Oh, they're, they're, are you throwing them over there? Yeah. Don't do that. It's fair. <laughs> it's not fair. It's fair because he's going to bring the these batteries. over here anyways. Did that make a sound? I don't know. I was talking. I was talking too. <laughs> he did hit it. Come on, Atari. There we go. Come on, Atari. You can catch up. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he got it. There we go. Come on, Tari. Get back here. Get back. Ring the bell. Catch up. You can do it. Come on. Ring the bell. Press the bell. Get it. There you go. Good kitty. See, okay, he has to, he's got to steal it. He's got to <laughs> steal it. <laughs> Double ding. Service. 
<laughs> Service. Oh, come on, Atari. Come on. Come on, Atari. Come back. Oh, my God. It's game point now. Press your button. Press the button for treats. That's how it works. Yay. Seven. You have to do it three times. And Sprite has to be majorly distracted. Stick your buttons in Sprite's face. Oh, it's over. It's Here all over. Secret, secret treats. It's all over. Good, good show. The, uh, Seven to ten. Snacks off my hands. That's usually... Check, please. That's my cat. Um... Yeah, usually it's around seven that Atari gets. Um, yeah, better than he used to get. Oh, he, it was very sad and pathetic before. Now he's getting better. He's a, bot, a lot more... Um, he's a lot quicker coming back to the bell. Okay, and it's Sprite, of course. Sprite wins by three whiskers. No coaching from the trainers. <laughs> we, we try... Well, Atari needs a little bit of coaching. Who who was betting? Atari 800 XL rules with the big better. Also, on it's, Sprite. We can say whatever we want because it's genuinely it's they genuinely a possibility that we're making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> it is because we could be distracting. Him, if we ignored him completely, he might hit the bell quicker. We don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try that next time. Just like no coaching, no anything. We'll put him in a box. <laughs> and we'll, and when the bell hits, it goes bing, bing, bing. <laughs> lights up yeah or just like drops it yeah we'll make a machine and we'll have the cats and they'll just have their mouths stuck in a funnel <laughs> taped yeah oh More. where's the bell ding 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 <laughs> ding 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 are we going pro with this we're going pro sealing them in boxes <laughs> airtight boxes and they don't get out till they ring it 12 10 times <laughs> okay, let's go back to the game. The cats are out of the uh, view. <laughs> and I did remember that I have to turn on the volume for the uh, for the game. Oh, it you does did. sound like a bell. You are right. Okay. Oh, thrust one big. One thousand up to fifteen hundred. Nice, fifty percent return. Okay. Um. So. In this game, you guide your sub to the treasure, avoid the bad guys, uh, avoid the walls, and also it is continuously moving sub. You can't stop the sub. So be aware of that. Oh, it's not that if you stop, you die. It's that it will move whether you... All the time. Whether, yeah. You can only turn the sub. You can't stop the sub. So once you start moving, and you can shoot. You can shoot them. Shoot, shoot, shoot. There you go. Don't run into the explode explodes. What's the other game that you can't run into the explosions? Oh, and you can only shoot horizontally. Mm -hmm. uh, ITC says, I'm almost back on my points where I was when I lost big on Atari about two weeks ago. <gasps> ITC bet big. Too many dangerous murder octopi. Yes. And on this game, it's smart because he has the octopus start from the opposite side that you're on. So if you're on the left, as you are now, the octopus will start on the right. Because that's... it yeah, only that's makes good. sense. And I just suggested that to the same developer who's making another game. Am I oh, out? you're out of bullets! You shot too many times. Oh, I didn't know. You, Ooh, I didn't nice. know it was... Nice I didn't know it was bullets limited. Neither did I. Well, I that makes sense, is. but... Oh my god. Oh, there we go. I was like, a 7800 game where you can't restart without going to the system? That would be the first... No, no, something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. I, I need to troubleshoot that, but the problem is that it's so intermittent. So you're saying the button doesn't so sometimes doesn't work, Mr. Doubter? Oh, the joystick said it didn't work! <laughs> I will doubt you, my friend, who doesn't lie, but I will assume that you're the liar because the joystick wouldn't lie to me. Never. Never. The joystick lied. The now joystick the lied. truth comes out. <laughs> the truth does come out. The truth has been revealed. I'm not the bad one. The joystick is the bad one. I totally forgot that that happens. <laughs> I only just barely remembered. <laughs> uh, and I'm the one bitter. 
So I don't know if it's the system, the extension cable, or the joystick cable. Now you are be rich! I know it's not internally because when I unplug it and plug it back in, it works. Which kind of implies that it might even be the system that has like some sort of overload of some sense and you have to like reset it. But I don't know. I just don't know. It could be like the cable and one of the pins is like corroded. This is a very anti-octopus game. Well, the octopus in this game are genuinely bad. They are going after you. Oh, oh, yeah. The bats no, in the other uh, game. All, the another thing that needs to be said about the octopus business. in this game is it looks very convincingly octopus-like. Yeah, like it's, it's got all the it's arms. It's really good. It's really good animation. Really wiggly. Oh, I gotta shoot it here. I'm gonna be in big trouble. Big trouble, because you really want to get them on the long... Oh, really? Yep. Yes, really. Now we should appear on the other side. There we go. Totes happened. Found that one of the wires soldered to the PCB was fraying loose, so I clipped them all, restripped the ends, and soldered them back in place. Oh. I had to redo one of the wiring on my retro Game Boy's NES-style controllers early this week. Hmm. Is he really evil, though? I mean, he's just trying to prevent you from messing with the ocean and stealing the trick. Oh my god. He's not paying attention. I thought it didn't start yet, until I started moving. But that is not the case. Um, I guess he could be protecting his territory. Which makes sense. Oh my god. It doesn't matter if he's protecting his territory. He's trying to kill you. <laughs> he is. And he's so powerful that he can destroy a submarine. And I assure you that going through the coral uh, safely is dangerous enough you're not looking for a fight. No, it is very dangerous. Somehow he's immune. And he can go pass right through it. But he might not be evil, but he's not like... It doesn't mean he's like, oh, I'm the good octopus. <laughs> what kind of sub do we have where it can't withstand... The touch. The, the loving caress of, a, of an octopus. It is a very or, large octopus compared to that kelp. sub. Or is it a very small sub? One person sub. But still. Oh, the key's on top of the number. That's funny. Hmm. This is not the final version, though. I don't have a copy of the cartridge, so I'm sure you The key fit. is uh, very good. It is very good. Oh, my God. Oh, you died. I made it to level two. I'm going to make it to halfway to the treasure. Halfway to the treasure. The danger seaweed is taken from TMNT on NES, right? Yeah, definitely. The deadly, deadly seaweed. But I mean, in TMNT, they're swimming on their own. So if it was deadly to the touch, that makes sense. Oh, oh you can not shoot up! Oh my god! Oh my god. Pro move there. I thought you could only shoot sideways. Sometimes they come from the close side. Uh, Ghost Up for the 2600 was is exactly the same as this. Um, there's a treasure, there's an octopus. I achieved my goal of getting halfway. <laughs> I think the treasure was like the ball, I think. Either the ball or the player, second player um, uh, missile. Oh, you can shoot through the seaweed. Oh, I, I forgot you about couldn't. that. I just remembered. Oh, that, you could. that makes it so much easier. Oh, yeah, there's some more to read out. Because uh, he made this game for other platforms. What are the other platforms he made this game for? Because it, it's a game that, as long as there's like some way to make Playfield and two characters, well, multiple characters, um, then you can make it. Do, do, do. He's made it for the Magnavox, Odyssey 2, and the Intellivision, and the 2600, which we played on the show before. And it's it's a simple game, but it is fun. It's got a lot of um, dangers and strategy. And we I made, made it to level whatever this is. Level 2! Or is it level 3? No, 3 is the lives. 2 on the right is the level. Well, I mean, this is the third screen. This is the third map. Is it? Yeah. The, oh. the, the first map does not oh, read a key. You lives are on the right. There yeah, we go. You you definitely made it to this one because you... Oh, I did. Yes, that's right. 
because I did get the one with the first key. Whoa! Getting all crazy there. Last life. I heard you press it. It's my joystick again. <gasps> it's not going right now. Uh oh. Maybe it's the joystick. Dude, I gotta do some continuity tests on these pins, maybe. But the problem is, it's not all the time. It's so annoying. I'm gonna. Just go I'm gonna to see yeah, there. Yeah. I'm gonna die. That guy's face is purple. That's funny. It's a uh, funny color octopus, to pick. I think. He's got is it, is it the octopus? He's got tentacly looking arms too. Oh, the octopus like stole your uniform. Okay. Shoot up! Yay! I don't know. I, I joystick I think screw it breaks, close up it breaks over. immersion that you can uh, shoot at the top. Yeah. No. No. I mean, it does, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the game. <laughs> Treasure! Treasure. Oh, I'm thinking Bosconian, where you can't shoot the mines. You have to wait. Well, you can shoot the mines, but um, you've got to wait for them to explode and go away before you can pass through them. Um, but in some games, you can go through explosions. I mean, it makes sense that you shouldn't go through explosions. Usually not good. Sometimes it comes on the close side again. It seems I'm to not sure like what the timing is. Maybe like it's I'm like here, when it makes the decision, you were right in the middle or something. And by the time right. it gets on the screen, you're not there anymore. I think that's what I was thinking as well. Ah, <sighs> uh, defeated. Turn too early. Like here, yeah, there. Yeah, I think it's when the decision is made. And I think it's made, like, immediately after the octopus dies, maybe. Like, now. And I'm definitely over on this side now. And this looks to be about the minimum width. Yeah, real octopuses would. Except that these octopus, they're all not getting a chance to learn because they're all dying. <laughs> a horrible explosion. <laughs> over and over. There's endless numbers. But it of... would, if you fired it from far enough away, it'd just be like... It'd just be like... <laughs> <laughs> I go from plate shape to torus shape. <laughs> Torpedo goes through. I get points. <laughs> Ma. Oh, am I getting points every time I shoot an octopus? You can point scum in this game? Let's see. Oh, yeah. very, very few. One point. Probably not worth hanging around getting. Mm, I don't one know, point at a time. You don't have to risk the danger of... Yeah, no, I think it's probably time-wise. That's very poor. Oh, yeah, you can't move once plan. you fired it. There you go. You can, but you got to wait till the torpedo gets close enough that it won't get out of the way. Hooray! New world record. Oh, you have to go all oh, the way that's in. That's fun. I like that. And all the way back. And it's... Uh, Ooh, this is tough. So you have to kind of hang around. Uh, you can shoot at the top, remember. Oh, yeah. In the bottom, so... That's true. Oh, no. Okay. Mm. I think you can get them. Just mm. scroll back up and uh, that'll, that'll work. But it's hard to shoot at the, uh... No! It's hard, it's hard to shoot at the top. Yeah. It's hard to shoot in the direction 
that the seaweed is directly in front of. It whether it's hard. up or the side or whatever. You just don't have enough room to do it. So this is much... There's just, like, stop, like... Uh, at the bottom. At the bottom, yeah. yeah. Like, right around here. Ooh, still not good. Not good at all. I, I think, think I'm okay. gonna go up like this and no then shoot him down. Alright, that works. And then go all the way down. And then shoot him on this side, so he should appear on the right. Yeah. This is gonna get easier when I'm in the middle? Maybe? Okay, yeah, you get a hundred for treasure. Thrust has uh, declared, and oh, okay. I have not noticed. <laughs> <laughs> and one per octopus, so it's a little bit... Do you get anything for the keys? Uh, I guess we'll see. I think the keys see. are uh, 50, and the treasure is 50. <laughs> oh, maybe. Just oh, I'm just kidding. No, nothing. nothing. That's, so they are 50 if you get the treasure. <laughs> I'm just splitting the value between the two. I'm not, I'm not saying you get 50 for the key. I'm saying that it's, you know. So the first treasure. You, you absolutely need the treasure and the key to get any points. So I'm awarding, the, I'm awarding half of the points to the key. But on the first level, <laughs> the treasure is worth more because yes, you didn't need a key. Yeah, it's the best treasure in the game. <laughs> it's the densest pointed treasure in the whole of the game. Oh, God. Oh, Stay on the right. Good. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Mm hmm. I'm gonna shoot him. Oh my God! I might as well die. I feel like you, so. I feel like the octopus t disappeared a moment before you exploded. <laughs> so like the priority was to delete the octopus ahead of making your ship show an explosion. Uh, oh. oh look at this. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. I'd, I'd, I'd get him now. I'm going to get him now. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be getting, getting more tight, yeah. more difficult as time goes on here. Because in the center, it's not bad. Because... I don't know why. Because it doesn't have as far down to go, that's why. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Run away. Oh, God. What was the plan there? <laughs> it was to not miss the first shot. <laughs> that was the plan. After that plan failed, ah! I, there's no plan B. No plan B. <laughs> it was panic. Death. Um, graphics by Tix. Great graphic designer. Um, so, a fun... Uh, oh, Thrust thru says the frame drops are gone. Excellent! Figured out uh, whatever the problem was. Uh, so fun game uh, gets challenging as the um, as the maze gets tighter. Annoying things, but very fun. Um, so it's available on many platforms. If you want to uh, play that game, that's available in the Atari Age forums. Oh, so we're on to the last game of the day, and it is called Stone Age. Let me just power this off and show you something. It is a port of this video game. Ah. Caveman, which I played when it came out back in the 80s. I don't know what the year is, is because I looked it up online and um, it didn't have the date either on the one page that I had found info for. Here it is. It's, it was uh, put out by uh, Tomy. Oh, the top's cut off. That's unfortunate. Tomy Caveman 19XX uh, a VFD um, vacuum fluorescent display. Oh. Four C batteries, model number 7613. Caveman has been found in two different colors. Three! <laughs> oh, yes. um, and I was also sold by Radio Shack under the Tandy brand. So this is a, the one I have is Tandy. Um, I'll show you closer afterwards. Um, and also sold in the UK under the Grandstand name. And I'm going to show you a video of what it looks like on here. Because it will 
be a little hard for me to show you this, and I also don't have batteries in it. Here okay, we go. Man. You play, man. You play. There we go. So you're the little dude on the oh, left I remember there. This. You played this? No, but I remember seeing it. Oh, okay. I remember the seeing it in the store. The the Warhammer. Mm. Battle axe, whatever it were. Uh, yeah, the lax, yeah. War axe, that's probably the right word. Yeah. So you have to collect the eggs from the dinosaur and steal them. And there's pterodactyls that come down and bother the pterodactyl. you. Pterodactyl! And you have to shoot them because they steal your eggs. And then on later levels, the uh, volcano starts exploding oh. and you have to avoid the um, ashes uh, or the uh, little bits of molten rock that are coming down and also you have to sh throw the axe at the dinosaur does the pterodactyl well steal your eggs yes so you got but you're stealing the eggs how that the <laughs> multiple levels be. of stealing causing the dinosaur children to laugh and make fun of the caveman anyway <laughs> So it it's <laughs> I I remember a friend of ours had this. Yes, um, VH said, see, you missed it. Oh no, you missed it. We played your game first. Uh, yep, we did make we it did. to the end. It is super super awesome. Yep. I'm um, glad to see you back making games for the Atari systems. Um, it was really good. Yep. Love the bats. Lots of bats. I liked killing the bats. And I found it slightly more difficult than your normal games. Um, but I was able to overcome my uh, difficulties, and I made it to the end. Um, but a shared uh, friend of ours had this. This is where I, I played it um, back in the 80s. And I remember really liking the game because there's a lot going on. And I have a bunch of tabletop games, and I usually buy the ones where there's a lot going on because some of them are just like, catch the thing, move back and forth and catch the thing. It's like, yeah. oh my god, that's so boring. This has pterodactyl swooping down. There's volcanoes going. The dinosaurs breathing fire at you. It's it's a lot going on. I don't. I'm not sure that's uh, canon. I, I that, don't of dinosaurs breathing fire. I don't think it is. I, and don't, I don't think, think they breathe fire. Humans were around when dinosaurs were around either. Don't, well, don't to be that. fair, that doesn't really look like a human. <laughs> it's an alien. That's true. <laughs> is this one color? Uh, yeah, it is color. Ah. Uh, it might be just overlays, though, but it may not be. I'm just well, so whatever. Yeah, yeah. amazed Lunch by sprints. the ingenuity of people making these games and their ability to make fun games uh, with just things that light up on the screen. That's not the right thing. I didn't load the new one. Atari There you go. Ready. 7800 basic. Squish. Sport. Sport. Okay. Stone Age, not Caveman. He's renamed it. Atari Age symbol there. So this is, uh, and the graphics are much improved from the tabletop game, because you can. Funny enough, Tix made uh, the graphics for this one as well. Is the button not working? Because uh, you should be able to throw your press button. Okay, you're fine. Or it goes up. Uh, press to the right and and the button to throw it at the dinosaur. Yeah, that's what I tried. See? Oh, up and to the right? Up and to the right? Maybe. But I don't need it because the dinosaur doesn't care if I take his egg. <laughs> He's, there you go. Oh, maybe it's stop and press a button. I don't know what you're doing. It's one of those. It's it's not a normal... There you go. Oh, maybe you have to be close to the dinosaur to do it. Yeah. It's proximity. The thing that's weird is that the... Uh... <laughs> Master K is like, crap, I missed the beginning where Darcy eats apple slices. <laughs> he did. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> the plate's down there. Yep. Too predictable. You gotta gotta mix it up a bit, I guess. Sometimes he eats nuts. Mostly apple slices. I don't. 
Okay. I'm not getting any eggs. So this here. is an exclusive update um, that uh, 2600 has provided for us to play in the show. I'm sure he will post it today. Um, th this game is a work in progress, so some things haven't been implemented yet. Like the dinosaur doesn't murder you yet. Not yet. Although we get the, the lava happening real quick. Yeah, I don't think that happens in the first level on um, on the tabletop game. So he oh. said, uh, and oh, what you, did he do? Well, I what got happened? burned and uh, my burn. dead body went down to being flattened. <laughs> it just skipped the part where the dinosaur came over and grabbed my body and brought it over in front of him and stomped <laughs> on it and then ate it. Um. 20, uh, 2600 posted the September 30th. He says, hi guys, here's a game I've been working on as a side project to another. I wanted to keep this one smaller. It's a 48K ROM project with simple, straightforward gameplay. Tix is on the sprite work. Um, so the one he, oh, now there you go. Pterodactyls. Oh, you lost an egg. That's a very fast pterodactyl. Can you shoot with an egg in your hand? Yeah, okay. Good time. Um, so the changes on this one over the one that's posted in the Atari forums. Get them. Nice. Oh, I wonder if that hurts you, too. The fallen pterodactyl. Uh, oh, did, oh, you did get him. Uh, Suck it, pterodactyl! Color match. You ain't nothing! Eggs now match uh, the caveman outline. Pterodactyl's random appearance is toned down. Uh, egg stash now depletes during level intermission. So when... Do, 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 run! Move! Move! Oh, you died! Oh, I was reading in the chat. Okay. No poll today? Soon. Soon we'll have a poll. Which which game you uh, enjoyed the most or looking forward to play the most? Play again. Still reading. Um, engine. Player cannot walk past the dino now. So you used to be able to walk past the dinosaur. Egg stash. Alignment is corrected. Yeah, they're all lined up. Uh, pokey. Sound effects added. Um, now they're just in testing mode right now. Actually, I'm going to turn it up locally. Can't hear it too well. Hi, oh, hey, when buddy. the lava hits the floor, it goes bah. Oh, no, that's when it's spitting it out. It just coincided. Okay. Does it spit it out? No, not at the exact same time. So he's not breathing fire yet. The T-Rex? No. Yeah. He has not breathed anything. He does seem to be breathing. <laughs> he's like, he's warming why up. can't I kill you? Why do you keep stealing my eggs and I have no defenses? I'm too busy. <laughs> I'm Get too away busy from me. laying these eggs to, <laughs> to stop right. you stealing them. <laughs> Level three. Do you have more reading? Uh, no, I do not. Oh, you're going to put me in the line of danger? Maybe. We'll see. I totally would. <laughs> Look at the egg is moving, too. Oh, my God. Well, it's got a, a baby dinosaur in it, and it's all like, I'm so ready to laugh at you! <laughs> and you're like, no, I pick you up. Note, the eggs don't move once they make it into the caveman <laughs> file. Does he shake them up a little bit? <laughs> well, they don't... I guess he doesn't want them to hatch. Really great graphics. Dinosaur looks. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, it's the second button. Yeah, oh it is. My God. It's the second button. It's I not the first, but the second button. I think either both buttons should make the thing fire, or the first one should, because second one firing is very unusual for a twenty for a seven eight hundred game. Level four. Da da da. Maybe he'll breathe fire now. I'm gonna stay away from him. Ah! It's a missed. waste. It's a waste of a pterodactyl kill. I lost? Do I have only Oh, my God. oh and he appears over there? That's yeah. weird. That's what I was saying is that that's the That's the bug. That's the thing. So that needs to be fixed. Yeah. Oh, do you get back the sticks when you put an egg over there? Seems to be. Oh you do. But So you only get yeah. Three sticks per egg. So you've got to keep moving those eggs. 
Give us an egg, Grandpa. Oh my god. Why is the dinosaur grandpa? I don't know. He's, <laughs> he's very bright and uh, bright green. He does not look like a grandpa. Yeah, and he has no feathers. It's historically inaccurate. Well, there's a lot of problems with well, <laughs> historically inaccurate things in this game. I don't know. I believe the feathers is a good guess. No, it's not a guess. They've, they've, oh, on T-Rex, maybe. On yeah. T-Rex, yeah, yeah. Because they've found dinosaurs. like For fossilized. sure, I just mean T-Rex. Like they're, they're making a... A good guess. Yes, that all or some, most of the dinosaurs had feathers. Of of the of the of the ones that did. <laughs> of the ones that did, they definitely had feathers. No. <laughs> did he breathe fire in your game? No. Okay, so maybe that's not implemented yet. He is totally defenseless. Then this game reminds me of um, crossbow. Not the guy in the chat, but the game where you uh, shoot at the screen. Just the landscape very much looks like crossbow. Yeah, it's too busy laying eggs to breathe fire at the moment. Whoa! Didn't see that one. The, oh, the, um, they seem to be coming out much faster now. The, uh, lava? It's not really lava, is it? Yeah, and I can't say that, like, it's... Arguably oh, and not, easier. And it's not going as high Because when they're going insanely slow, it's, it's almost harder. It you, is. Like you I have found to go unnaturally uh, slow to stop. I have found that in some games, slower is, is harder, like you described, because you, you have to wait, and then there's other dangers coming, yeah. and you get trapped. How are you losing? Uh, we next? don't want to comment on what appendage oh, what is happened? being used to throw. Probably... <laughs> Probably a drop of lava got you. Yeah, I didn't expect that. I think he's throwing the stick with his butt. Whoop! His he's butt very cheeks. Very talented. Powerful, powerful butt cheeks. So he's storing all the sticks. <laughs> yeah, he's the original dude's got to stick up his butt <laughs> guy. That's where the, the saying came from. Yeah. Is cavemen that uh, kept sticks in their butt. Yeah. Because both their hands were busy. Stealing dinosaur eggs. Stick up his butt used to be like the equivalent of egg gatherer. Yeah. It was like the same. And, and they were, it was a hard job. They didn't like it. So it slowly morphed into, oh, he's got a stick up his butt. And so he's, he's kind of grumpy. And and uh, that's where the same, <laughs> same came from. I think we've maxed. Oh, my God. I threw it at him. I found that that just slows down the egg laying. <laughs> or I didn't find it slows down the egg laying, but I felt like it might be because when I bonked him in the head, sometimes there was slower egg laying. I wonder. I'm going to try it. Yeah, he hasn't laid an egg yet. So it's actually to your detriment. Yeah, you don't want to... Uh... Maybe the game shouldn't allow throwing weapons when holding an egg. Ooh, that would present a lot of difficulty. The... I think because of when the pterodactyl comes out. So yeah. at any time when the egg, you have an egg, and the pterodactyl comes out, you'll just be losing an egg. So and you'll if you never get a hat, yeah, because you'd have to throw an egg at it, and you lose an egg. <laughs> yes. And then if you miss, you end up losing two eggs. It's it's, <laughs> it's no 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 win at all. Uh, very good start. I I really. But what you could have it do is when it's holding an egg, he could throw harsh language. And like Hubert above his head. And the pterodactyl will swoop back up. Yell at the yell at it. It's scared away yeah. rather than kill it. It'll be, goes, the, it'll be a different button, but it's the same Button effect. one, that's what they're same reserving effect. it for. Yeah. It's a swear button. Yeah. <laughs> the graphics look good. Of course, it's Tix doing the graphics. Um, the gameplay is is good. I mean, the dinosaur needs to breathe the fire. That's the one thing that's missing. And also, uh, at this point, you don't have to throw a stick at it. Because it doesn't yes. fight you. And I imagine it tries to bite you. And, and the reason you have to throw a stick is to keep it from biting you. Yes. So you have to wait for the egg to be laid, throw the stick, get the egg. And you have limited sticks. There's three sticks. You have to really not miss. Because you need one for the dinosaur and possibly two more for the pterodactyls that you need to do while carrying the egg over. And it seems to max out on difficulty right now. Because um, it didn't seem to get much faster after that. So 
The earlier build with the early graphics did have the T-Rex breathing fire towards the egg, so you had to dodge that before getting to the egg. Oh, interesting. I wonder why they took it out. Mm. Um, they were like, we can't have a T-Rex without feathers and it breathes fire. Like, <laughs> It's not possible. too many things that are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing historically correct is the dino's not breathing fire. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Also, dinosaurs laid eggs. That's historically correct. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, but they didn't volcanoes. come out their front. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it came out the other side. Yeah. Pterodactyls and T Rexes. Did those two exist at the same time? Because people think all the dinosaurs existed yeah, at the did. same time. But no. There was like hundreds of millions I think they of did. years i think I, I think yeah 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 because um the big the big uh pterodactyl the quats uh, something something the one that walked and it was massive, massive the one that was like a giraffe size and it and it flew and yeah uh it was around when it went extinct because of the meteor issues oh, okay it was all like i have issues with this meteor i will protest by going extinct that's what happened Oh, so it was like the last of the dinosaurs who was around. It was along with the last of the dinosaurs. And the T-Rexes were the last of the dinosaurs too? I, I don't think know. so. That's always depicted that way. I don't way. know 100%, but I think so. Yeah. They were they were definitely like late. They were like advanced. Yeah. Advanced dinos. <laughs> yeah. Except for the arms. Uh, so here's the poll that we've started doing. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but nobody's complained about it yet. Um, <laughs> somebody suggested the other day, and I'm like, why haven't I not done that? in the five and a half years of doing the show, of doing a poll at the end saying, hey, what did you find the most interesting game? How about instead of a first past the post poll, you could have uh, an optional, uh, your poll thing doesn't do that. No, no sadly. You know, if you're, not gonna, if you're not going to take a it's, step towards changing the, the, the voting, you know, <laughs> representation system, who will? How about you start a programmer it, start it at the grassroots... You create the system, and then people get used to it, and then they can then they can you know accept it further up the line. That's that's uh, I know I'm rambling, yep. uh, but I think you get what I'm saying. I don't yep. pretend you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody, me, yeah. Thomas suggested that when we were doing the ABBUC, which were a bunch of games we played all at once, um, and he suggested, and I was like, oh, that's a great idea, and I did it on the show during that during that time. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really like pitting games against each other, but uh, I like to phrase it in a way, which is the most interesting game? Which one are you going to play? That kind of thing. Not what's the best game. So which is the most interesting favorite, to you? Favorite is legit. Because your favorite? favorite doesn't have to be the best. That's true. Because everybody has different opinions on games i like. like books and movies and stories uh that are uh, there are ones where i'm like i could see that objectively this is not good but i like it a lot <laughs> there you go that's that's true it could be poorly written but fun well usually right. usually there's something there, there's a thing about it i really like and the other things are not all crap and <laughs> not all crap. Usually, adequate. if there's lots they of things, they don't bring it down. If there are lots of things that suck about it, then I won't like it. Well, but yeah. like, it has to have something I really like, and only so much of it is terrible. <laughs> and yes. in the area that I can forgive. <laughs> <laughs> so coming up on the show, we're going to be playing some possibly Atari 8-bit games next show, but it might be bumped for some exclusive 2600 games. Ooh. Maybe. We will see. Uh, and then it'd be bumped the next day. Um, but coming up very, very soon is the Atari Jaguar's 30th anniversary classic gaming countdown. We're going to be playing all the classic Atari Jaguar games because it's the 30th anniversary. That exact day, November 23rd, 30 years ago, 1993, is when the Jaguar came out. So uh, I thought it would take the opportunity to play through all the games because I've played very, very few of them, because I only got a Jaguar a little bit ago, and um, never really um, played it uh, too much. I think uh, one of my friends had one, but I didn't really play it too much. So we're going to be playing that th over three days in After Dark. It won't it disrupt 
the normal flow of shows because there's lots of games coming out right now. Could you do a show with your tabletop games? <sighs> That's interesting. Eat those ones? Yeah, hmm. um, 100%. I've seen a lot of people do YouTube videos and mm -hmm. they do a great job of it. Yeah. And so there's no reason I couldn't because I've done... You just need to like set up your camera, yep. pick a spot on the table like with tape yep. so you know where to put it. Yeah. Oh, I can adjust it quite easily. Yeah, yeah. And I've done the Vectrex, and that's and that works similar. Good. Yeah. I mean, it's it's light coming from something filmed with the camera. I just have to set, uh, you know, the exposure rate so that it's not too flickery and not too smeary. You find the right perfect balance. And I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there's might be another one, eleven up there. That'd be good. Be able to see the game. Um, I would just flip up the screen so I can see it through the camera at worst. Um, yeah. Or at even worst, worst, I can have it on the TV running through. Because let's go through the ca a capture device and all the capture devices have, has an out. So I can just put on the TV. And there's no lag. So I put on the TV what I'm seeing on. Oh, so that you the camera can be in the way. Yes. And it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would I can great. just completely yeah. control it. The more, yeah, that'd be totally fine. Using the viewfinder? Yeah, viewfinder or the capture outputting. Yeah. Um, that's a great idea. That's an absolutely great idea. And I've got a very good variety of um, systems um, that are all very, very different. Um, yeah, I'm going to put that in. Great suggestion. Who, who suggests that? Thomas is full of great ideas. Thank you, Thomas. How about your own game? Any code existing so far? Um, I've told Thomas to bug me constantly, every show that he's uh, in the chat about me program the game because it makes me feel very guilty for not working on it. Um, I do think about it constantly, um, but have not worked on it, and it's terrible, and I need to budget my time way better than I'm doing it now. All my time is going towards doing this show at the moment. But I also watch a lot of YouTube, so that's a problem. <laughs> um, Atari Age Day is coming up uh, at the end of this month. The dates are most likely going to be the 25th of November, which is a Saturday, or the 2nd of December. I don't see it happening in next Saturday. It just seems a little too short um, right now. Uh, Carl, yes, please nag me about it. Please, please. Um, we also are going to be uh, unboxing. That's Atari Age Day is where we unbox all the new Atari Age games. And we talk to all the developers. So Thomas, Carl, get ready. Because <laughs> they have new games out. Bot and Tom and Penalt. Um, so it'd be great to talk about... And Load Runner. There's so many things in After Dark I want to finish as well. Load Runner is a long term. I also need to get my um, pilot's license in the Jaguar game. Um, his name escapes me at the moment. <laughs> oh, it's right in my desk. Um, Hi, Gravitic Mines. There we go. I want to get my pilot's license. I'm over halfway through getting that. So this is probably going to be concentrated on first because they have a limited number of the cards. It's like a patch. Um, um, and then we're going to also unbox Elevator Agent and Turbo Arcade and have John Shampoo on the show on another day, probably December, early December. Uh, I'm sure they want... Your backlog is growing. Oh, it's big. Like... If you look at, there, look, Thomas Yench was the first person to post about the show. <laughs> In uh, April 8th, 2018, a couple weeks after we started. But to show you all the patch challenges I want to get, these are all the homebrew patches. I've got quite a few of them, but there's a bunch that I have to get. Crazy Balloon. Oh my God, some of these are so hard. Circus Convoy, I can definitely do. Uh, Gold Rush, which has been renamed. I need to change the name of that uh gorf i got two out of four gorf uh lem i haven't achieved that yet 
Uh, all these I've got. Starfire Elite Squadron patch. So bloody hard to get that one. I got somewhat close. I think it's in the 2,700 on that one. But all the other homebrew patches I've got. Uh, Activision patches, I think. Let's see. 24 out of 43. So I'm over halfway there. I've not done those in a long time. And of course, the Imagic Gold Thumb Hall of Fame. Those are very, very, very hard. But I was watching a video of Demon Attack, and that one looks like it's the most achievable. So I might go for that one first. That's a super fun game. Um, but anyway, getting back to shows coming up. Uh, Atari Holiday Homebrew Special, the four-player special, where uh, Erland, Darcy, oh, are yeah. here. That'll be in December. And really, there's limited days that can be. So I am probably going to plan that for either the 9th or the 16th. One of those days. So get prepared, Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in picture of the kitty. Of course, because he's so cute. Um, and then uh, on February 2nd, we're going to reveal the nominees for the 6th Annual Atari Homebrew Awards and start doing the playthroughs. And then on February 24th, put that in your calendar, Darcy, sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards live presentation where we give out the awards. February 24th. The author of Splorf has died, so not sure if you can get the patch. I didn't I get, I got the patch. I got the patch when he was still uh, alive. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure, where is it? I've lost it. There it is. February Spaceman 24th. Splurf. There you go. Uh, earned on April 8th, 2020. So I did I did get the patch. Um, uh, 4,000 points. I eclipsed... Oh, second one, too. Spaceman Coaster at 8,000. Earned that uh, shortly after to well, as well. Yeah. So I do... I have the coaster and I have the patch up there as well. Um, so I don't know if you can still earn that patch. Not sure. I think their development partner might still be able to give out the patch and the coaster, but I'm not sure on that. Um, so, yes, I think that's all the big things that are coming up on the show. Uh, more to be filled in later. Thank I don't you have everything in, but I put specifically the homebrew awards. That's very important. Yeah. The other one, I don't know yet, the four player, but it's one of two days, but I'll let you know as soon as I figure out, because it kind of is dependent on the Elevator Agent and Turbo Arcade and also the Atari Age Day. No, the, yeah, because yeah, that does, it does depend on that. Short show today, is it? 145? Yeah, a little short. A little short. Yeah, a little short. They were, they were... Because it's usually two to three hours. Yeah. Usually it's a minimum of two. Mm -hmm. And if it's long games... Like, these were all kind of works in progress. And the sub one, we yeah. kind of sucked at. So, <laughs> so <laughs> we died really quick on it. <laughs> um, and the other ones are, are work in progress. But we played them fully. Yeah. So, hopefully you still enjoyed it. And uh, you have more of your Friday to enjoy <laughs> than us taking up time. But uh, we'll probably be doing an After Dark. What was I going to do in After Dark? Oh, the um, the Gravitic Mines. I really need to do an After Dark this weekend on that. Because I think, because he just reposted, hey, there's still the patch or the license, pilot license are still available. So some people might still, might renew their interest. And I don't want to miss that. The machine offers that one. It's great anyway. Oh, thank you, Pseudo Graphics. Not enough news. No, there wasn't an, very much news. Mm, no news. Um, so thank you for tuning in, Carl G. Not enough news and tangents. <laughs> Not enough tangents. We rely on tangents to extend the show. That's right. <laughs> it's mostly tangents filler, filler for the show. I really need to test this joystick. I should mark it down as possibly bad. And then start using that one. And see if you have any issues the same. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That would be a very good idea. Um, thank you for tuning in. Carl G. Pseudographics, Ivory Tower Collections, uh, Thrust 26, 
Dan AVC, uh, Al Nefer, Prow 7. Who else? RC70, I think I said. VHZC. Uh, no, there's no bug in your game if you're still watching. We completed it perfectly. I think you caught the one bug. Your games usually never have bugs, so I was quite surprised when Trebor posted oh. that there was a bug. I I don't think I've ever found a bug in his games, ever, during any of the testing that we've played him on the show. There was a spot. It's not a bug, but, like, there's the elevator thing. Darcy made it through. I made it through the thing. I don't know if you're supposed to make it through there. or if, It's not a problem. I think it's a good thing. It's yeah. super hard to get it's through. It's kind of neat. I just flipped out, because, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> No, that's that's cool. Uh, Al Nefer, uh Rod Castler was watching. Jedekiah, thank you for resubscribing again. Uh, anyone else? Drexel, thank Yay. you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I saw a bug. Oh, Thomas. Oh, I've talk I found a few here there first, uh, especially in the first Night Guy game. Oh, I probably play them after people find bugs. And that's why I never find them. Um, but I usually try and play them pretty quick. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, I forget. Oh, well. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Everybody have a great weekend. The thing you can switch on to move out of the way once was at the top before switching it on. Tanya is very good at finding them. Yes. Yeah, she's good at finding bugs because she plays the games unorthodox. <laughs> mm. Very unorthodox ways, I guess. Yep. The stuff I found was like when you went back a screen and you ended up in places you shouldn't, shouldn't, I guess, causing forced deaths or something. Oh, okay. So you're actually playing the game in a, a way that you really normally wouldn't because you're backtracking to screens that there's no reason to go back to. I mean, that's... But if you can, then that's a proper be. yeah, beta yeah. tester where yeah. you're like going everywhere and pushing yeah. against all the walls and jumping in different different trajectories, trying to make yourself make make your way through the walls. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Oh yeah. Um, by a landslide, night guy uh, in another castle was everybody's favorite game today. I can show you for wine back. Hmm. The thing you can switch on to move out of the way was once at the top before switching it on. I don't know which one. He, do you remember? You know what he's referring to there? Is it the, the axe that goes up and down? Oh, to move out of the way was once at the top. Oh, oh we got some time. You know, like you I because remember <laughs> I said, I don't know why I did that. It's harder now. Oh, yeah. And I'm not sure if I remember it. So yeah. Well, Thomas says he saw it. So let's uh, let's let's rewind. And it was during your play, so that makes it easier to find. Uh, so let's get this on the screen. You won't be able to hear it, which is fine because we don't want to hear ourselves. Oh no. Okay, Sometimes so that's you have me to hear yourself, playing. Even though you don't want to. This is you playing, yeah. So this is you playing. Yeah, people can see it. Good. Let's get to the axes later. After this sword. After the killing. It's here. Okay, it's down on this yeah. time. Let's see if it's up when you go to this screen. Yeah. No, nope, still yeah. down. Might be your second playthrough. Did you Maybe. play it two times? I did. Okay. No, I played it. You only no. played it once? Uh, yeah, maybe I only played it once. I'm looking at the chat there. I'm thinking people are typing. Oh. Maybe you went and looked at it down. No, you went up the ladder right away. Okay, so let's look at my playthrough. Let's see. It's easy to see because then my joystick's in my hand. Okay, and then I go here. It's down. It's down before I press a button as well. Hmm. 
Let's go to my second run through. Down again. Hmm. Let's go before I press it. Still down. Hmm. hmm. Do I play it a third time? Yeah, I played a third time. I I definitely thought the first time after yeah, pressing made, it, I was like, "You made a comment. Why did I press that? It just made it harder." <laughs> so I don't know why I thought that. So here Is my... there like a frame where it's down that we both saw or something? I don't know. Okay, here is my third playthrough. Still down. Let's go back to yours again. And you only played it once. Did I get there and then die or something? This. So there, then... You go left. We don't see it on the screen yet. And you go back. You get the sword. You go. Let's watch it in real time. And I'm Standing. asking about the thing. Did they fall on me? Oh, you have to go back before Thrust's comment on the screen. Oh, okay. I was looking to see if I got points for killing this snake. Okay, there we go. So this is where you encounter it for the first time. It's down. Yes, Thomas commented about Ask Why You Disabled It when it was already going, I think. Oh. Oh, that was your game. Okay, so let's That look. was your game. I recall I recall him mentioning that during your game. Okay. Towards the end of your Let's look for Thomas's um, comment. Mm -hmm. Why did you enable that? It was disabled. Okay. Let's go back. I enabled it because I was not able to get under it. Is that what his question was? There, it's it's down. I'm gonna pause it. It's down. And you can't get through it. And you can't get through it. So I pressed it and now it's moving. And we'll just watch and see when his comment comes up. Still moving. I swear it was up. Hmm. I had the same. I had the same impression. Yeah. I don't like know why you, though. You said something as well about it. Yeah. I don't know. It, it looks. It looks normal, to me. I'm probably gonna die here. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know why both you and Thomas uh, thought something. I think we was might be different. seeing into like a parallel dimension, <laughs> just for just I you think know, so. like no control. It just happens from time to time. Or VH said he did a programming error, and <laughs> you both saw into that yeah. alternate universe. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Does that make us like super pessimistic that we saw the one version of history where he made a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Um, anyway, we're done. Uh, maybe there was something else you both saw and we just didn't notice, but it's there. It'll be uploaded for all eternity and somebody else can see it. I'm aligned with Darcy in alternative reality. Yeah, you both see Berenstain Bears and just a little bit different than we all see it. <laughs> Spelled differently. Uh, so we'll be back on Tuesday with some more fun homebrew, possibly exclusive 2600 homebrew, uh, or it might be on Friday uh, for, for Thomas to see, because he was complaining. Um, what else? Yeah, Aaron, we might do, we'll probably do an After Dark in the weekend, because I need to play some, catch up on some catch up on some games. So we'll see you uh, next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.